This disclaimer was copied without permission. Well, since I'm running a beer channel, I guess I need to comment when someone says something like really stupid and it involves beer. Cheers, Quaffers, Guzzlers, Swiggers, Sippers, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch here. Now, Lisa Kudrow from Fre Wait. No, 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 that, that's wrong. No, uh, Larry Kudlow from uh, Fox News. You know how some news channels have a funny person to take care of weird and silly news stories to give it a comedic twist? No? Well, neither do I. But if they did uh, that is what fox news has made its hallmark to put completely on its head on its head oh. incidentally this local lager actually has a pretty decent head come to think of it fox news is the news channel that has basically no serious news reporting at all except when Chris Wallace gets a bit of air time to legitimize Fox as an actual news reporting media corporation. The rest of the time, it's just opinion, bias, devolving into spurring of corporatist groveling and right-wing hate, only scantily dressed as actual news. And in addition, it's just horribly, horribly stupid. So this guy, Larry Kudlow, is on Fox Business. I guess that's the outlet for the corporatist groveling, while Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson take care of the extremism spewing on the main channel. And Larry Kudlow had a segment where he criticized Biden's climate plan. Or rather, he built a straw man of it, which he then viciously attacked claiming that Americans had to give up all meat in order to meet the, uh, no pun intended there, in order to meet the CO2 emissions reduction goals in the climate plan. And he also wept the usual crocodile tears about how it would impact the insanely rich and powerful fossil fuel industry. But that is ultimately a different story. So he said that for Americans, there'd be nothing left to do than enjoy grilled Brussels sprouts. And you know what? Don't take my word for anything. Here is the absolute moron saying some really stupid shit. I'm sure middle America is just gonna love that. Can you grill those Brussels sprouts? So get ready. You can throw back a plant-based beer with your grilled Brussels sprouts and wave your American flag. Plant-based beer. And he even goes on to say that three times during the segment. Now let's just go over this so everyone is on the same page. According to the Bayerische Landesordnung von 1516, beer should only be produced using barley, hops, and water. I think we can all agree that water is not an animal product. It's a ubiquitous chemical compound found in plants and meats. In and of itself, it's neither. Hops, or humulus lupulus if you like, is very much a plant, and it is not in any way, shape, or form derived from an animal. Same goes for barley or any of the other grains used for beer, wheat, rye, oats, rice, corn. Now, the Landesordnung doesn't mention yeast, however, apparently because it was kind of implied that, of course, you'd need that to make beer, are you in dense? And yes, of course, water has to be mentioned explicitly. What would you use instead? Sand? However, yeast is technically not a plant, so maybe that's the one Larry Kudlow is thinking of, shaming beer made entirely of non-animal products. And it would suit those woke, prude, puritan left-wingers fine, wouldn't it? 
as the yeast is also what brings about the alcohol. You know, the thing that make Morricans love their guns and their big cars even more. Yet, yeast is a fungus and though that makes it genetically more akin to animals than to plants, or so I understand from the rudimentary hearsay level of biology that I know, still not quite a meat product. I mean, vegans can eat mushrooms, oh, and drink beer. Because beer is not a meat product, you absolute muppet! Closest I've ever been to a meat beer was the Valor 2 from the Icelandic brewery Stedji. That one was brewed with malt roasted over fin whale testicles. However, no actual tissue, not even testicular, were actually present in the beer. Then there was the bacon beer, Memento Mori, Til Jor Skal Du Blive, or Dust to Dust in English, by Danish Kongeborg. It's that t-shirt I'm wearing. But they actually just use the spices typical of bacon to produce the beer. Because as the uh, brewmaster Nils Keens, who's a friend of mine, specifically told me, it's illegal to produce beer using animal products, in Denmark at least. But, I mean, keep in mind, we're a liberal, basically communist country in the eyes of uh, so many Americans. But where does this notion of beer being an animal product come from? How could this absolute spanner even come up with the completely moronic idea that beer would suddenly become a completely plant-based product after ceasing being something else? Meat-based, one would guess. That is, if Biden's uh, climate plans uh, came to pass. It's anyone's guess, really. My guess, however, is that it hinges on male stereotypes and toxic masculinity connected to it. It's very important for the Fox audience to seem so manly and powerful, so Fox channels will very consciously be appealing to that specific audience of gunslinging, muscle flexing, hot rod driving Morricans. Thus, Larry Kudlow's segment, naturally, will revolve around topics associated with his viewers. Fossil fuels and the awesome powerful cars that you can drive with it, along with the beef, mutton, chicken, turkey and all the other animals you can stuff yourself with in the name of America and beer, yeah, beer. Not like the liberal sissy pants who go about in their electric and hybrid cars while they joylessly chuck down their uh, vegetables. And in order to make beer fit into the preferred stereotypes and prejudice of the Fox audience, they have to be able to contrast themselves to the evil liberal veggies and their climate consciousness, driving everyone to <gasps> giving up burning fossil fuels and living in caves. Or to put it up in a properly dichotomized fashion, consumable to Fox audiences, meat good and veg bad. Veg bad. So any beer one would have access to after Biden and his liberal hordes of climate conscious hippies have ravaged the country, waving their Brussels sprouts tied with ramen to the end of celery leaves at poor defenseless Murricans covering in fear in their long empty hummers and dodge charges. Yeah, any beer obtainable in yonder dystopian nightmare would of course need to be plant-based. as opposed to the meat-based beers that we all know from the glorious golden age of today where fossil fuels, meat and probably 
But admittedly, Larry Kudlow didn't say anything about this. Guns are still allowed. It's all about playing into toxically masculine stereotypes where vegetables are for sissies and girlies and meat are for real manly murricans. Or something. Anyway, I have little more now that I have vented and hopefully got my point across. Please like and subscribe, comment and share, follow me on social media and consider supporting me on Patreon. Always remember to drink responsibly and I'll let Larry Kudlow finish this with a suggestion that after all seems like a good, however also slightly redundantly formulated idea. So let's celebrate by throwing back another plant-based beer. Until next time, cheers. Oh, by the way, just for the record, it appears that Matt Powell has a huge inflatable banana in his backyard who he calls Dr. Peel.